everybody welcome to Mike and Law's channel thanks for tuning in wherever you're tuning in from good morning good afternoon and good evening so again happy new year so this is my I think second um, YouTube video for 2021 so welcome so today I thought I will share what I'm doing so here in New Zealand it is tomato uh, zucchinis there's a lot of vegetables in season and they're really really cheap so Today I thought I will make a tomato and zucchini or courgette, some people would call it, relish. Okay, so um, all of this prepared. So uh, I've chopped up some very nice ripe tomatoes, chopped up some onion, uh, zucchini. So there is about uh, one and a half to maybe two kilos of tomatoes there. I'm making a big, uh, sort of a big batch because I want to cover up these five jars which I want to give a jar each to my brothers and my sister so um, I will be adding some mustard powder chili flakes a bit of curry salt got my measuring tools ready my lids so these will be sterile um, and I'm going to be popping those in the oven so these are the tomatoes that I got um, we were blessed with a big box of tomatoes which these were the leftovers. They are very ripe, so I thought, why not make some chutney or, or relish? Okay, so one of the ingredients that I will be adding to it as well, which is not there, is brown sugar. You can use any sugar, um, but I'm going to be using some soft brown sugar. So uh, the I was very inspired by a lady that I follow on Facebook who... Uh, page is called Mama's Kitchen. She's a New Zealand lady and a lot of her recipes that she shares on her page um, remind me of my upbringing here in New Zealand um, and tomato relish is definitely one of them. I love it on sandwiches. Um, I'm not one to have it as a condiment on my roast but you know the roast the next day if there's leftover roast relish is definitely one of the things that you want to enjoy that with. So guys, join me as I make tomato and zucchini relish. Okay everyone, so I've got my pot on the element and it's heated up. I forgot to mention that um, I also am going to be adding some apple cider. You can literally use any vinegar. Um, you can use malt white vinegar but I'm using apple cider vinegar I was told that it has a different taste and I have a feeling I'm gonna like it and also your soft brown sugar okay so my pot has now heated up and it feels good and literally all you're gonna do is just throw everything in the pot well that's what it says on mama's kitchen so this is the first time I'm gonna be making this so bear with me so everything just keeps rolling in there. Yeah. That is a very, very large pot full. But awesome. Okay, so now that I've got that all in there, I'm now going to add uh, two thirds of a cup of the soft brown sugar. Um, I know that you are, you can put more, I'm, I'm, I actually want to just try and do a little less. So, sugar, one, and the reason I'm doing two is because it's a, uh, quite a large batch, normally you would, you would only do one. Two sugars, um, and now I'm going to add the apple cider vinegar. And I'm going to do two cups of apple cider vinegar. There may I may need to do more because you sort of got to cover the vegetables. And you, obviously, you can see I've got a lot of vegetables. So one, two. I may need to add some more at a later time, um, but I'll see as I'm going on. Going on. Okay, so now I've got to get my teaspoon out, so half a teaspoon, one teaspoon. And I'm going to put two teaspoons each of my flavours, so two teaspoons of the curry. 
And this is just the mild curry. So one, two. Same thing with the chili flakes. I don't have many chili flakes left. So um, I'll just use what I've got. There. <laughs> we like our spice in our family, so. Chili flakes, and then lastly, some mustard powder. Um, I've never bought or used mustard powder before. And these little packs are really good. You know, and they even come with a little clip that you will put on there to reseal it. So two teaspoons of the mustard powder. So just remember, I ain't, I ain't no chef, so as you can see. Um, so now two teaspoons of salt. One. Two. And that is literally all you really need to pop in there. Um, and I will have to see whether I need some more vinegar or not so guys so that's what it looks like and I'm going to cook it for about 20 minutes because it doesn't take that long so I'll probably cook it for about 20 minutes and then um, five minutes just before I'm about to bottle them, I will heat up my um, my lids just to sterile them. And then I'll pop these in the oven to also sterile them. Okay, so the key to bottling when or jarring for long-term use um, is you've got to put the relish into the jars while the jars are hot. And as as well as the relish and as the relish is starting to cool down and go to room temperature it will lock and suck in those lids again to keep it sealed for long term okay guys so um when i'm ready to bottle i'll come back to you guys see you soon okay, so it's been cooking for about five minutes let's have a look and see how it's going mm. looks like Looks good. <laughs> I'm pretty stoked at myself right now. So that's looking good. I might add a just a little inch more corn flour, uh, just to thicken it a little bit more. And um, I'll come back to you once I start bottling. Hey okay, guys, so um, the relish is now complete. So there it is there. These are hot, so I need to start bottling them. So everything's now ready. Um, I don't have a funnel to place everything in. you just got to be careful because the jars are hot. They've just come out of the oven, and the lids are hot too. They've just come out of some hot water. So I don't have a funnel to scoop it in, so I'm just going to use one of my um, measuring cups. Hopefully it will work. So probably take me forever but oh well so the consistency is good and when this cools down it will be really nice to eat with so I've just wiped the top of the lids of the bon the jars just to make sure there's no cracks in the lids of the jars Making a bit of a mess, things are it's going everywhere. So you want to fill the chutney right to the top of the jar. Um, because once 
the lids are on top of it, it will seal and then sh seal lock. So you want to just fill it right to the top of the jar. So there's my relish and that's what I'm doing. It's a bit messy. But I can clean it up once I'm done. So I'm going to get quite a, um, it looks like I could be filling up these five jars, which is good. Real happy, real stoked about it. If there's anything left, I can just pop it into a jar that I, not a glass jar. I don't have any glass jars. These are the last, actually my sister-in-law dropped these off this morning. Um, so I don't have any. The um, courgettes came out really nice. Really, really nice. So I'm just going to fill up these jars and I'll come back and let you, I'll, I'll come back and show you guys what I've done. Everybody, so we are now complete. I was able to fill the five jars up with relish. Still got a little left over, which I will place in a plastic jar because I've got no more glass jars left. And I'll just pop that in the fridge and we have to eat that within the next week or so. But it worked, turned out really well. Um, my batch is quite tangy. So, um, you know, maybe next time I may put in just a bit more sugar. Try, I just wanted to try and reduce the sugar intake. But um, it worked out well. It turned out nice. Tastes good. I know it's going to be nice in sandwiches on alongside our meat. Is it? Five jars. It's still hot. So um, that was my first time making relish around, I was going backwards and forwards to my computer looking at the charts. Um, I'm doing a live Zoom presentation tonight so I just wanted to make sure all the content that I've got on that Zoom is there. Um, so that around making relish this morning has been a really good experience and to be able to come out with five jars, I can give some to my brothers and my sister. Um, is awesome. I'm really impressed with myself. So I'm not a chef. I just like to experience and things. I like to cook, but um, I also uh, like to have a break from cooking often as well. So hopefully this video was of much um, inspiration for you to go out and make your own relish. You can make just zucchini and capsicum relish if you don't have tomatoes. Um, you can add other flavors to it to your liking. And you can reduce certain things that I've put in today to your liking as well. Be sure to subscribe and click on the notification or the bell just so you can receive all notifications of any upcoming um, YouTube content that we will upload on our YouTube channel. But until the next time we meet, take care and stay blessed.